Uh, so this is one of the older type of Sunny Boys. So what I want to know is, um, there's a lot of like ones like this now that come up on the market used. Um, I don't really know why. Maybe they just get decommissioned. Um, so after a lot of looking around, now if you are doing this off grid, okay, the important bit is see the Sony SB SB thirty six hundred TL dash twenty one. So the TL twenty one indicates that it can be configured for off grid use. So this would have come out of somewhere that was definitely grid used. Um, so you need to program them to enable you to use it in off grid. Um, or otherwise, it'll either want to feed, you know, um, power back, it won't throttle down, all these kind of things, right? So the TL21s can do, can be programmed to throttle up and down. So hence the reason why we've got, you know, pretty good weather outside. And we're only doing like, there you go, like 98 watts. Because uh, it'll go up and come down because our batteries are already full. Okay? So these definitely can be done without any issues whatsoever, okay? But you would need to go to SMA and get something called a grid guard code that enables you to go in and then reprogram these um, using um, just straightforward software, Bluetooth connection, etc., etc. okay? So, but it is a cheaper alternative. So these are 3.6 kilowatts and I managed to pick up um, one of these works, works out 250 pounds, right? versus say one of the brand new 3.6 kilowatts and they will retail for you know like 900 pounds so it's a it's a very big saving um you know for very very little work basically but you know it works but as i said look out for that tl21 um, those are the ones that you want for that size um uh, i think if it's those types of sunny boys so the type with that uh lcd control panel that one right it is anything that says TL21 um, so I'll show you the smaller ones 